the unicorn farts is happening right now. Oh my <laughs> word. <laughs> hey, everybody. I don't know where to look. <laughs> oh gosh, my brain. Hold on, let me gather my thoughts. <laughs> A few moments later. All right. Hey everybody, welcome. It's your girl Rosalie. Welcome to my reaction channel all about music and psychology, the ultimate world music reaction channel. I have a very special guest today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, hello everybody, my name is Brandon. I'm an acting and performance coach uh, and I do music reactions over on YouTube. That's right, that's not acting either. I'm so happy that you're here, man. So excited to collab. This was an awesome idea. Thanks to our subscribers who also um, encouraged us doing this. I'm really, really glad we're getting around to it. Today we're checking out something that you have seen, I have yep. not. And that is uh, yeah. Nightwish. Yep. I've had a few people who I believe mentioned me checking out Nightwish and the list is long. So eventually yeah. I would have gotten around to it, but I'm glad I have the opportunity now. This is um, their song Ghost Love Score. Is this yes. the one from Vakken? Okay. Yep. It's been out for a few years. I'm late to the party, but hey, better, better late than never, right? Anything I need to know uh, before, Brandon, before uh, I dive in. Mm, this is something called symphonic metal, a thing that I didn't know existed before I started listening to Nightwish. So they're a metal band. But it is not, I was completely shocked when I actually listened to the music. It was a, an entirely different animal. So okay. I'm excited to have you take a look at it. Oh, I'm even more excited now because I, like I say, a lot of times I want to explore music from all over. I just love the variety and the diversity that's out there. I like listening to all kinds of types of music, like all kinds of genres. I don't like being boxed in. I don't think I have anything metallic or heavy rock on my channel yet anyways. Not to mention, what is it called? Sym symphonic? Symphonic rock? metal. Yeah. Symphonic, symphonic metal? metal. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I'm, ooh, yeah. that sounds really curious. I'm, cu I'm curious. Right? That sounds exciting. Uh -huh. Yeah, that that, ty that that moniker is really interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Well, let's dive right in, guys. As always, like, share, subscribe. Make sure to go hop on over to That's Not Acting Either. I'll put the links in the description below. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Share it with your mama and your sister and your brother. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever you want to share it with. But we're so happy that you're here, you guys. I'm excited. You ready, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh my word, I need a second. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I have, I have no idea what to expect. Even now, it, this is like almost like unwrapping a present because it's so awesome within the first few seconds. But even now I'm like, what, something's about to happen. The build is just, yeah. it's got me so excited. It has that total, you know, like these, these pirate movies, you know, this intensity where you just get so pumped. You're like, yeah, you know? Yeah just imagine being in a crowd like that right exactly oh my god yeah thank you i have said that so many times energy. while listening to their videos i would love to be in that audience just the energy alone yeah the energy and just and i love how they're building with the instruments i love how there's each instrument is just coming in you got the drums and you got all these different instruments building oh, yeah. sheesh okay okay let's keep going but my my heart is like the rhythm of it dun 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 right it's yes, not intense yes. It's okay. super intense. It really has that warrior pirates. Yeah. Let's go and kick some booty. <laughs> Get it? Because pirates? <laughs> I do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. Here it comes. Here we go. 
That was a fiery intro. Yeah. Corn farts is happening right now. Oh my <laughs> word. So I love, side note, when different types of music elements are combined, right? Even in my own music, right. I sometimes like doing that, like some oriental stringed instrument, and then you bring in like the harp or the violin, and then you hit it with some cool dubstep bass, like just combining unconventional things. And right. while I know this is not a new genre, right? Um, because she reminds me from a sound of the uh, Evanescence vibe, which I love. Right. Um, but it's not even though it's been around for a minute it's not necessarily something you right, would think of right away right rock we often think maybe rasp and ha ah! yeah and then you have the operatic voice which sounds like she has i mean the ability to sing so angelically these high clear notes right these soprano the soprano level the clear operatic elements just again angelic yeah. you combine that with that heavy da -da 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 -da. oh my gosh <laughs> But then when she does those, those, oh, I'm not even going to try. You can cut that part out. Good. When she goes high and she does those, those airy runs. Yeah. Sheesh. Um, also a yeah. side note. I know this is not you know, just about the audio, even their performance. It's cool to see how it looks like they're having fun. Obviously the crowd's wow. going bonkers. Thank you. Crowd surfing. Did you see the guitar player, how he's coming in, is touching everybody on the shoulder. Yeah. It's almost like this community, this family where they're like, hey, yeah. I'm here. What's up? Okay, so that the guitar player, I'm going to mess up his name, but he's actually the guy who writes most of their, most or not all. See, I, me trying to explain this stuff to you, people who watch my videos on them are going to come from my throat because I don't know very much. But That's okay. Uh, from what I understand, he, he's the one who writes pretty much all of their songs. His mm -hmm. name, it's like Tuomas or something. It's mm -hmm. like okay. Thomas is what I thought it was at the beginning. Okay. But he kind of is, I want to you know, call him their, like their leader, the guy who's at the head of everything. Okay. And he's, he does that a lot. And what I've said so many times is that I just, the best part of watching them perform is how they, they just all look at home. They look relaxed and like they're yeah. just hanging out and chilling and vibing with the, the group and they're just with the playing. Like, yep. You know, their buddies hanging out, enjoying this music. Yeah. And yeah. even, even how she's singing with a smile on her face, like just, she seems yeah. relaxed. And like you said, at home. And yeah. like I said, the crowd's having a blast. They're surfing, crowd surfing and, you know, rocking out. But when he showed up, if he yeah. is really one of the main, I mean, obviously they all have a main role to play, but right. if he is what you said, really one of those that write a lot of the songs and have lead parts, yeah. it's even more impressive that he's coming in so humbly. Right now, yeah. he's not coming in with this huge, watch me, look at me. No. He's coming in um, affirming and acknowledging all these other players and, and yeah. participants, musicians, and then, you know, gets to rocking really cool i mean yeah i'm definitely a novice when it comes to like the the night wish lore and the history okay. but what i will tell you is that he's incredible he's an artist he's got okay. a true artist's soul and some of the okay. stuff the way i've seen him interact and what he's written he is definitely someone who understands humanity um okay and yeah they they do they just they communicate so well on stage together let's keep going this is this is okay. fire The build-up. Sheesh. It's a full production. Sheesh. 
Dreamy, love it. I have a question for you. That's why. Yeah, I would talk got, to me. You're a vocalist. Yeah. Yeah. My question is because to me, what I heard was an incredible command of breath and dynamics yeah. in that yep. last couple of phrases. Like, what are you hearing as a vocalist when when you listen to Floor sing? Ooh. I mean, I mentioned it a little bit earlier. I definitely hear, you know, these high notes that she sings with such clarity, right? Where you can definitely tell she can hit those soprano notes. I hear elements of that operatic vibe, which really gives it such a unique touch to rock, right? Where a lot of times right. rock voices will have a certain rasp, which is awesome, but she has a lot of clarity to her voice. Um, and what's cool is she still carries the the notes in such a full way that it doesn't sound too airy even though that can be beautiful too right certain artists do that and it adds a yeah. special touch but she is singing in such a way that it's very clear very crisp um it, it's rich and full each note and then when she got uh, when she gets a stronger in her voice as in these these higher notes turn into she brings in more force it, it almost i wouldn't even say um Ugh, soulful might even be the wrong word, but it has, it becomes even fuller. She goes from this angelic vibe to such force. Like it commands, yeah. it commands the lyrics, um, but with a lot of strength. And you're right, with a lot of um, breath control. To be able to do that and not sound out of breath, <laughs> that's yeah. really impressive. That's very impressive. So that's that's Floor Jansen. Okay. You're going to get to know her really well. Uh, okay. She's absolutely incredible. She's classically trained. Okay, um, okay. She's just amazing. She can sing absolutely anything. Um, oh, and I she bet. does sing a lot of things. You'll see it as we go on here, but it's funny you were talking about it that powerful and all this. What do they call her? I'm trying to remember. Nightwish Nation has a name for her. And if I get it wrong, I'm going to I'm going to hear it in the comments. Um, but <laughs> I called her when I first watched this. Later on, there's a moment when it feels like she's really just leading the whole crowd. And I called her, I think I said that she's standing up there like like a like a Viking princess or a warrior princess. Oh yes. And I like that. She she's got a lot of power and presence on stage, in my opinion. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Um Talk I'm so about glad you like it. Skill and talent. Yeah, yeah. I dig me some good rock, but I, I would when it comes to rock, I'm not a huge fan of heavy metal where there's just like screaming. Most dramas are appealing to me at some at some point in sh some shape or form because I like to listen to such a huge variety. But heavy metal has never been a big thing of mine. I do like some intense rock though. Like there's certain rock groups that I that I listen to that are, you know, they get in there. It's 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 fierce. But when there's elements of melody and harmonies, I prefer that. Right? There's you can understand the lyrics. Yeah. There's melodic elements, and that's totally present here, which I think is what oh, adds yeah. to that whole For sure. experience. <laughs> Even in the instrumentation, you still got the distorted guitar. You've got the heavy drums, but then you've got yes. what, we've got strings and and woodwinds yes. playing in the background. It's it's yes. really intense, it's symphonic. Some might say. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ding. This is exciting. Right? The, it makes you suspense. wonder what's happening next. Because you yeah. just know it's going to get better, but what is going to happen? How can they top this? I'm getting chills again. <laughs> and I've seen this many times. The woodwinds. 
so cool. Almost like a pan pipe vibe. So orchestral, it's very symphonic. Sounds like a music, a movie score. It has like this music score vibe, the buildup and all these elements of the orchestra and this, the yeah. symphonic vibe totally gives it perfect movie score sound. So, so one one conversation I've had with one of the more I don't know I don't know how to put it. They have a few people in the fandom. They're like well known amongst the other fans yeah, as just yeah. Nightwish fans, right? Nightwish Nation. Um, and one of the guys who've contacted me, we've talked a little bit. One thing that he talked to me about was he he was trying to encourage me that that even though I'm not a metalhead and this isn't my world, that I'm right. in a good place to be able to experience their music because of my theater background. Yep. Because he says the way you need to look at it, the way you can look at it, is like and as each of their songs is small operas, like mini operas. Oh yeah, um, yeah. But th there are a couple of songs. There's one in particular in my head. I'm not going to tell you anything about it because maybe you'll listen to it on your own later. But there are you can you can identify movements in their song. You can, and what in my head they're called acts. Uh, okay. You know, okay. The, the one first act, second act, third act, because. There are breaks, there are moments where you get a build, you get a climax, and you have a little reprieve and then and you move into the next section. Okay. And so it's really cool that you called it out. That's interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. Kind of like those 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 either very long movies that have a break or like in theater. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. which a must really add to the experience, especially for those who appreciate art life. and music. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, this, I can't, this is one of the, I'm not a huge metalhead, but oh my goodness, I would pay so much to go <laughs> to one of these concerts. Oh, I bet. It's a lovely moment. This is absolutely dope because in addition to what we already talked about with the theater and the operatic and the symphonic elements, what she just did vocally, just to talk about yeah. that for a second, she went from that operatic voice that I told you about, right, that high, clear uh, notes, and then she went low and sang with that rock vibe that comes to mind when you think rock, right, that raspiness. The way she right. switched like that within like the phrase was fire. And it really has though, it really has that, like you said, that Viking, even the way she started singing, it really gave me that Celtic Viking, you know, chant like, just we're going to war, vi warrior vibe. I mean, right. talk about yeah. fears, snap. They came in strong after that little interlude there. So she's, so she is, you're saying she's Dutch and she's the band Dutch. is, and the band Finnish. is Finnish? Okay, yes. okay, all right, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Very be cool. Yeah, I feel like it definitely, some of those elements and that type of music taps into some of the though the um, the roots of those of those European countries, right? Yeah. Be it, be it Viking, sure. be it be it the Celtic, be it the Germanic, right? Depending on where you go and the influences, and yeah. I like that they're that they're type tapping into that and that that connection. 
between that rock and the that Viking vibe. So how are you? How are you loving just the ride so far? <laughs> loving it. This is a this is a fierce ride, man. I feel like I if I was in a car, which I like to say to my to my subscribers, you know, we're on a ride. If we if we were riding right now, they better hope that I'm not behind the wheel. <laughs> I'd be I'd be hauling I'd be right? hauling so, like yeah. like I'm on a German I autobahn. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, oh my gosh, we gotta change the song. This is it's fire. Great. They really get into the music. I feel like I need to let my hair down. This is not right. <laughs> yeah. Here it comes. I think this is where I said she looks like a Viking general leading her army. Yes. Lagatha. Yeah, she got some guns. Yeah. My word. I feel like I feel like something not right with me up in this bun with this bun on my hair. I need to be like letting my hair out and just <laughs> it was hard. It was hard to sit still and not put my hair right? down and start yeah. like dude. We, ooh. I didn't want to pause at the time because you know I didn't want to pause too much. But when she started doing uh how, how do I describe that? She was so in sync with the drums, and I'm sure you know they've performed this song many times and practiced it, but the way that she was able to hit those short notes in perfect synchronicity yes. with the drums. Um, I feel like that takes not only, you know, of course you gotta be in sync and practice and do it well, but I feel like that also takes breath control. And then I didn't count, but I don't know for how long she was holding those notes in the end, holds that note for days and then does it again. I don't know, 15 octaves higher. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but like just right. jumps to like belting. And again, I've said it in a few other videos with certain other vocalists. When you can sing high notes, that's already pretty cool to me, who's usually more raspy, soulful, you know, lower range. I admire when people can sing high and clear. But when you can do that, belting with such force, 
and then have a touch of raspiness, just beautifully perfect for that rock vibe. Holding that note, you know, the, the fierceness. I mean, talk about like, a, like you said, a Viking warrior, just that was fire. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, let me not get too excited. This was no, amazing. Oh this my goodness. I appreciate you introducing me to this. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to checking out more and hearing more of her voice and just, sheesh, I'm gonna need, yeah. I'm gonna need like, ooh, I'm gonna need a, <laughs> uh, some water and a tea or something to calm myself yeah. down. I'm over yeah. here knocking down my guitar. This Sheesh. is a group that, yeah, they completely go, they, they blow me away every time. Every single Amazing. time. It's incredible. I'm so Shoot. glad you liked it. I'm so glad I you liked it. I appreciate you introducing me to them. Guys, yeah. what did y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to hop on over to That's Not Acting either. I'll put a link in the description. Subscribe to his channel. Like, comment, share. Tell everybody about him and their mama. I'm so glad you guys were here. I want to know what you think. Have you heard this band before? Is rock your thing? If not, like I say before, like with children, try something new, right? We're doing music all around the the world and today it was Nightwish and it was fire. Okay, let me stop. I gotta calm down. Like I'm so hype. Um, but make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. Check out the links below for ways to support. Check out our Patreons. We got Patreons going, so hop on that train. Thank you for being here. You guys remember that you are loved and you matter. I care about you and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again. This was Rosalie React. Till next time. Ayo! Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. That was so intense. My soul is like, I'm exhausted. That was fun, dude.